I dreamed this last night. Gina Delgado, assistant special agent in charge of the FBI's New York field office, ducked under the rotor churn of the helicopter that had just landed on Flagpole Plaza, diagonally across from the Statue of Liberty's information center. The night before, Delgado had barely slept, her slumber roiled by nightmares she couldn't recall until now. Her grandmother had been psíquica, Spanish for psychic. Gina got used to her abuelo saying matter-of-fact things about what was to come. Like the time she had told Gina the results of a soccer game Gina was going to play in, or, more seriously, the time she had refused to let Gina get into a friend's car, and later that day the car had crashed, sending all the girls inside to the hospital. You're going to do something no woman has ever done. The old woman had said the day Gina graduated from high school, hugging her tight. And now she was the youngest FBI ASAC in the country, the only Latina, and one of the few women who'd reached that level in the Bureau. In the immediate aftermath of the attack on the Statue of Liberty, officers from the United States Park Police on site had responded just as they'd been trained to do. They divided their duties between tending to the wounded, controlling the living, and securing the area. The latter meant clearing Flagpole Plaza for use as a makeshift helipad for emergency responders and officials to land, including Gina's chopper. Less than five minutes after the FBI received the call at its New York field office in the Jacob K. Javits Federal Building on Federal Plaza, an agent was driving Gina and two other ranking special agents from the office toward the downtown Manhattan heliport, where a bureau chopper was already warming. Ten minutes later, they had landed here on Flagpole Plaza, where Gina would be taking control of the response and ensuing investigation. Her mentor and current boss, special agent in charge Rod Rust, would have been cast in that role if he weren't out on medical leave. In addition to stepping in for him to run the office, Gina had taken Rust's place on New York's primary joint terrorism task force team, which worked both international and domestic terrorism cases and leads.